Hey guys, behind me of course is the Jeep truck that a lot of you Jeep fans have been waiting for. And in this video, we're gonna have some fun with Tommy behind the camera. We're gonna show you the top 10 cool features and hidden Easter eggs in this one. And I think you'll be surprised because, well, Jeep has gone out of their way to make this a fun and Easter egg full gladiator. Zoom in. There it goes. That is a little itty bitty. Number 10 is this cool little feature, check it out. Yep, that's right. You can use this screen to actually clean the little camera that is facing forward. And check this out. See those yellow lines? If I'm off-road, those tell me exactly where the wheels are gonna go. So if, for instance, there's a cliff right there, and I aim it this way, I'm gonna go over the cliff. How cool is that? Tommy, what's the number nine cool hidden Easter egg? Our number nine Easter egg is the sheer number of flat fender Jeeps hidden throughout this Gladiator. There's one on each wheel, so there's four, actually five there if you count the spare. Then of course there's one in the middle of the cluster, there's also one up here on the windshield. They really want to let you know that this Gladiator has a long heritage. But Tommy, where's the biggest one of all? Why don't you go inside and show them? Where is it? Oh come on, look it down when you're shifting. Oh yeah, there's one on the... Uh, here, I'll give you the camera. There's one right here on the on the shifter. Now, Tommy, this Gladiator that we have has pretty much every option available on it. And I think even though we don't have a Moroni, it options out to about 60K. But there's a $295 option that I think is really cool. And it's hiding back here behind the seat. Check this out, dude. Look at this. It's a Bluetooth speaker that you can use to, well, if you're tailgating, play some tunes that will play beyond just the inside of the Jeep. How cool is that, huh? Yeah, really cool. That lives back here, charges back here, and hides back here. All right, time for another Easter egg, and this time it's in the bed. Now, to get to it, I actually have to fold up this tonneau cover. So this folds up like, whoa, like this, it rolls up. A big reveal. Check it out, there it is. These motorcycle tire tracks built into the back of the bed. It's actually like a stamped piece. It's really cool, it's a really nice little classy touch. So basically if you had a dirt bike and it had mud on it, yep. and you cinched it up against the back of the tailgate, you would get that. Yeah, it looks like a knobby pattern on a dirt bike tire. And actually if you're putting dirt bikes in, maybe it also helps you line them up. Tommy, look at this owner's manual. Dude, look at that. That's like the owner Bible. And of course it says 2020 Jeep JT. If you guys are wondering what that stands for, you can probably guess, right? Jeep truck. But guess how many pages this bad boy is? 300. I'm gonna see. <laughs> oh, dude, look at that. 600 and still going. 608 plus the index. Wow. <laughs> There's a lot to this truck. And we uh, seem to have condensed all that into a 10 minute video. That's a big owner's manual, dude. That's gotta be one of the biggest owner's manual I've ever seen in a vehicle. And usually they're putting all this stuff online now or they're putting it in here. So it's kind of crazy that we now have it uh, in paperback form. I think that might be a pre-production owner's manual. I don't think that's gonna be the real thing. It doesn't look very finished. Tommy, since we're alternating features and Easter eggs, it's my turn. Number six, check this out, off-road pages. So it takes a second, oh, look at this little gladiator. It drives up and it says, never be lost. That's one of mine. Oh, all right, that's five and six then. But check this out, so you've got uh, different, really cool options that you can pick. Let's start with the drivetrain. That shows you basically, you know, the angle of your steering wheel. Right now I'm turning the wheel. That should change, see? A little wheel steer as I steer the wheel. If I were to engage the lockers, it would show me that, uh, yep, that the rear locker is locked as soon as it locks, but I gotta put it into neutral here first. No, just too far high. You can even see it locks the center. Yep, there you go. 
Uh, and so it shows you basically the state of the uh, drivetrain. I've got my accessory gauges, which is cool. All my important temperatures, voltages, oil pressure, pitch and roll, of course. Um, very useful if you're on some cambered trails. And of course, my favorite, the trail cams. So forward facing, we've seen that one already, but here's a cool thing about the rearward facing one. Check this out. You can zoom in. So if you have a trailer hitch, you can actually zoom in on that hitch. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And same thing, if you're backing up, it'll show you where you're heading to. So like right now, I'd be heading right into the fence. Look at that, dude. It works when you're driving. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. That's pretty cool. You think the back one works? That one works too. Oh, no, nope, didn't like that. Let's try again. So the front one works when you're driving, and you can probably squirt it when you're driving, yeah. But it doesn't like the back one when you're driving. Yep, yeah. yeah. it turns off. Yep, it will only let you use the front cam for about 15 seconds before it'll turn off. Let's see. So back cam, you can't, there it goes, oh, there it right. goes. Yep, so. Don't want you relying on it. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go with uh, uh, too many uh, lawyers at FCA. All right, next Easter egg is back here on this bed rail. Check this out. It's a Hart 419. Now 419, of course, is the area code where this Jeep is made in Toledo, Ohio. Really? Yeah. So, that's a phone code? Yeah, phone code. Wow, area code. Yeah. That's cool. Next on our list of features is something that's pretty darn cool. Tom, you know that you really can't lock the hood of the Jeep, right? It's got these little clasps that allow you to open it. But what happens if the Jeep is locked and somebody wants to steal your engine, right? That's a common thing. Don't they do that in Detroit? No. Well, let's see what happens. Let's open it up, alarm's on, and let me see if I can open this. Hold on here. Oh, where is this guy? Hmm. I thought the alarm was supposed to go off when you do that. Yeah, it should. That's what these plungers are for. Yeah. Why is the alarm going off? Huh. Huh. Well, I guess if you're in Detroit, you'd have a Jeep without an engine. Hey, Tommy, we moved the key way back. We think maybe it was because it was close to the Jeep, so I'm going to try it again. Okay, try it again. It's going to start honking, isn't it? Hopefully. Nope. Was me. Oh. <laughs> well, all you need is a Tommy to keep watch over your Jeep. <laughs> and you're going to have an alarm so no one steals your engine. <laughs> okay, so my number three for Easter eggs is here in the cluster actually. And it's this little itty bitty gladiator, not a Wrangler, a gladiator that drives across the bottom of the screen when you turn it on. Check this out. Yeah, show them. Get ready, I'm going to zoom in. All right, zoom in. There it goes. That is a little itty bitty. Oh, and then you get the little Rubicon uh, yeah. icon. Pretty cool. You also, like, you kind of spoiled the surprise earlier. Yeah. But, yeah, the performance pages keep disappearing. That's weird. Or off road pages. There's one that drives across the off road page, too. Hmm. Turn it off. See what, show what happens. Okay, open the door. Ooh. That's pretty cool, too. So, there's a lot of. <laughs> A lot of funny little uh, little touches. Yeah, and guys, we've had this Jeep exactly uh, two days, so we're learning about it as you are. Let's see if they're back. See, they're back. Oh, Check yeah. it out. Yeah, now we can show it. I wonder why they disappeared. You can move them around, I know that for sure, because it's this press and hold icons to drag across, right? Oh, did I just lose them? No, they're still there. Okay, show them the one that drives across. Maybe lost, but never stuck. Doop. Here it goes. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And of course, the coolest feature of this Jeep truck is that it does something that no other truck can do, and that is really two cool things. First and foremost, obviously, you can take the roof off uh, and make it into a complete convertible. There are three panels that come completely off that allow you to make this into, well, a topless truck. 
But best of all, if you want, just like in a Wrangler, you can also pull off the doors. So both the top and the doors come off, making this probably the most interesting and unusual feature of any pickup truck sold today because no other trucks do what this truck does when it comes to getting topless. Yeah, well, you forgot the most interesting one. What's that? The windshield. Oh, yeah, that's right. And the windshield falls down. So you could build completely uh, wind and hair, bugs and teeth. Hey, Tommy, I bet you didn't know this was a communist Jeep. It's it's not a it's it not is, a communist. It is a communist Jeep. No, Here, you show them. What, what, tell them what I'm talking about. Okay, so the most Easter egg laden part of this entire Jeep are these really cool floor mats. First of all, there's a topographical map across them. There's another flat fender there, but check this out. It's not. It's it's a shovel and an axe. You sure, it's not a hammer and sickle. No, it's not a hammer and sickle. It's a shovel and an axe. <laughs> How about this? This is cool too. Yeah, all trucks do that. Yeah, but not all trucks do that with a top that comes completely off. Nope, that's true. Oh, it don't work that well. You know, there's a bunch of stuff we didn't talk about, Tommy, which a lot of trucks have. For instance, this. Yeah, the damp and tailgate, there's right. a power element back there, there's some bed lights, there's a lot of stuff. Yeah, and of course, we didn't forget, this truck also has Fox shocks, right? Yeah, it's got Fox shocks and a Pentastar V6 and rock rails and lockers and disconnectable front sway bar and Falcon tires and winch ready bumpers. It's just a ton of stuff, but that's not what this video is about. No, it's about the really cool stuff because you can also right take these off so you get a better approach angle so that when you go off-roading, you just hit the wheel instead of the bumper. Yep. All right. Well, anyway, guys, there you have it. This is a really fast video before the rain comes in. Tommy, what's your favorite part of the Jeep? My favorite part of the Jeep? Yeah. Um, that it doesn't have to be convertible so that we stay dry. <laughs> As always, guys, this is Roman and Tommy saying thanks for watching. Remember, check out tfltruck.com for more news, views, and of course, the coolest features and Easter eggs of the brand new Daddy Eater. Ciao. You know what, Tommy? I think that uh, off-road page... Oh, it's back. It keeps disappearing, and now it's back. So, um, I think it takes a long time for it to initialize. So you think last time it wasn't initialized? Well, if you guys know the reason why sometimes uh, like some of these apps are there and sometimes they're not, let us know in the comments below. Or it could just be that uh, we've got some kind of a software glitch in this Jeep.